<clears throat> okay guys what's really going on <laughs> well let me cover let me cover the the twirl again okay the twirl from a player's perspective the twirl has got to be clockwise for me this is clockwise okay it can't go this way if you go this way you got to make a change you got to stop your motion and then come back so it's got to be a continuous clockwise motion and it's really in your wrist okay and it's back here like this and then like that can you see it now if you're doing it correctly you shouldn't be able to see it at all the faster i go the faster i go you can't see it you can't see it see what i'm saying so that's the correct way to twirl. It's got to be clockwise from your pers perspective. It can't be counterclockwise and then go back into the twirl or, or back in like this because you got to stop up here to do it. This way you, you don't. When, when you're going when you're going clockwise, it's just continuous. Okay, you got it. Okay. Now what's going on with the, with the swing? that we've been talking about for the last two months. <clears throat> Lower half of your body is for stabilization of what's going on at the top, on the top. That's it in a nutshell, okay? This will move, but it will move to support what the movement is going on up here, okay? That's why I built my swing and rebuilt my swing around the brake or the brakes, especially these down here, the femurs. Those are your brakes. <clears throat> okay? The top is going to move. That's where all the speed is and that's where everything's happening. But you got to be, you got to have stabilization and you've got to do, this has got to be working in opposition to what this is doing. Let me give you an example. This is my shoulders or my trunk, okay? If it's going this way, then my femur has got to be going this way. They're working in opposition. You see what I'm saying? That's where you develop your torque. And when you, the more torque you have, the faster you can swing that golf club, okay? With authority. So that's what's going on. Okay, now this, let me let me do this for you. And I'll show you where I messed up with this when, when we first started this. Remember me saying, well, I can't sit left? And I was trying to sit left. Well, that's not how you do it. If you watch Diz's last video that I just put up, Diz is loading this right side up with pressure. Not shifting weight over here, but it's pressuring down. He's probably putting 85% pressure on this right leg on his takeaway. That keeps him centered. If you do this, you're not centered. So he's just pressuring down on that right leg, okay? This up here is turning. This femur is going the other way for resistance. There's his brake, okay? And that puts his tailbone and all that other stuff that he talked about in the position that it needs. All right, so that's what he's doing. What I was trying to do the way this was doing, I would try to sit left. Well, I hadn't got anything on my right side, but now I can do it just like he does it, okay? And then come back to the ball. That's where I messed up, trying to do it like this does it. What about Dave? Dave's a lot different, but he's doing the same damn thing. Dave comes in here, he's got a trigger, which he goes boom, boom, and then he starts pulling the sword out of the stone. He gets his distance here, and then he goes like this, and he starts pulling the sword out of the stone. Well, where I messed up with him was, I did all this. When I pulled the, the uh, sword out of the stone, I was coming through this back wall. I was, leaning over here like this, 
like that. Well, my center center mass has moved so far now, I didn't have a chance to get back to the bottom. He's doing the same thing that this is doing. When he takes the club back and pulls it out of the stone, he's pressuring down on that right leg. That's what he's doing, just like this, okay? And he's coming back to the ball just like this. He calls it drafting behind his left leg, okay? He comes in here like this, and he says it's drafting behind his left leg. So Diz does the same thing, okay? That's what's going on. On this side, when you come back to the ball, if I'm, if I'm good over here, I've gotta be good over here because that's the moment of impact. I can't keep going this way. I've got to now take what I've got over here and shift it that way. This is for stabilization, okay? So now I've gotta stabilize down here and to do that, you gotta have this upper thigh rotated this way, okay? The upper thigh has gotta be rotated this way because the top is going this way. So what am I, what am I doing? It's in opposition. That's the way the golf swing has gotta be, okay? So now then, this is, he, he just sits and falls into his left side just like Dave does. And when he comes to his left side, now then, the 80% that was over here now shifts to the other leg. It's now 80%. There's your break. And all you do is just turn back to the ball. You don't hit it with anything down here. This is for stabilization. You hit it with everything above your waist. See what I'm saying? So I can do it both ways now. Took me a while to figure that out, but I watch Dave's vids in slow motion. I watch Diz's vids in slow, slow motion. And they're both doing the exact same thing. And you can too. That just kind of sums it up as best I can sum it up to make it simple for you guys to maybe be able to do this. Because I know a lot of people are having having trouble. Because I the hell I did. Not anymore though. Let me show you how how deep this grass is. You remember I didn't have any grass at all? Now look at it. Look at those balls. I mean, that's, did you see the balls? Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> that grass is probably four, four inches tall. And uh, I'm proud of my yard, okay? Anyway, hope that helped, guys. Y'all keep keep uh tuned in uh dave's going is under the weather a little bit that's why he hadn't been in, doing any vids i hadn't been any, doing any vids because there's too much building and stuff going on back here and it's kind of disruptive and but i said nah, I, I better do a vid talk to y'all later i hope that helped bye